Here at the Budwig Centre, we get another question quite often. Women contact me and say that, you know, they have hormone-driven cancer, and they say that the hormones have caused their cancer. Well, is that really the case? Well, the short answer is no. You see, to truly understand the question, hormones are, of course, involved in certain types of cancer, but the correct approach is to understand that these hormones are only contributing to cancer because of another reason. The main reason is that the hormones are all confused or messed up, you might say, because of toxins. Now, some research I have here shows that uh, very few of our grandparents develop cancer. Uh, there's a, a research that shows that perhaps one out of 30 developed cancer, you know, a century ago. Now we're looking at a rate of one out of every three, one out of every two. Well, what has changed in the last century? Well, hormones haven't changed, but the world is much more toxic. Uh, for example, uh, I've got some research here that shows that the agricultural industry is using all kinds of pesticides and in, uh, insecticides, fungicides, chemical fertilizers and sprays. Uh, this is all going into our food. Uh, what about our water? It's being treated with all kinds of chemicals as well, fluoride and chlorine and so on. Now, these toxins play havoc with our hormones. Uh, one of the worst is that we're exposed to is what's called xenoestrogens. Now, xeno means foreign. And chemical estrogens are all around us. When you look at herbicides and pesticides, these black amalgam fillings in your teeth, antiperspirants, certain types of plastics, especially plastics, these are the culprits. And these are what are causing havoc with the hormones today. I've just got some incredible research here that in North America alone, we're just talking about North America, more than 3,000 chemicals, it says, are being added to our food supply. There's more than 10,000 chemicals used to make solvents, emulsifiers, uh, all kinds of things in our food processing, packaging, wrapping, and storage. Uh, the EPA estimates that there's actually more than 20,000 chemicals that our bodies can no longer metabolize. So chemicals that are not metabolized are stored in the fat, and this is throughout the body, and well, this is causing the hormonal disruption and imbalance. So that's the real cause. So here at the Budwig Center, we help all our patients do a full detox, try to get all these chemicals out of the liver and the kidneys and uh, out of the system because you can't really heal until you start to, uh, first of all, with a cleanse. We also help people. We have a biological dentist near the clinic and we send all our patients there to get all the amalgam fillings out and replace them with natural compounds. So in conclusion, hormones are not the cause of the cancer but it's the disrupted hormones due to the toxins that have caused havoc with the hormones. So fortunately, the Budwig protocol addresses the hormonal imbalance. And one of the best ways to deal with this is a high consumption of flax seeds, which I'll answer in another frequently asked question.